What is up everyone? Today, we're gonna be unboxing our brand new Moonshade awning. I am super excited about this because I believe that this awning is gonna be a game changer for us. We have this awning over here, the factory awning from Lance. It is too much work for the amount of sunshade that you actually get. It wants to come down an angle. It's at about 12 feet high. So you have a hard time getting any kind of good shade coverage unless it is direct overhead sun. The other pitfall to this awning is it is on the side of the camper that we utilize the least from a standpoint of trying to cater our viewpoint towards. If you'll come around, you'll see that we always try and curtail our view to be focused out of this window, the dinette window. So while we're inside and in turn, we wanted to have an awning on that side of the camper. Also knowing that we're gonna spend a lot of time outside in the sun, always on this side of the camper because if we're going to prioritize the viewpoint for the dinette we also want to prioritize the viewpoint for the outside lounging and hanging out so i'm super excited to unbox this for everybody let's get this camera set up and then we'll get this awning set up so these are the suction cups that come with the moonshade um, we're going to attach them to the camper, going to clean off the camper first with some Windex and that way we can have a good quality bond for these to uh, hold on tight to the side of the camper there and we'll keep setting up this nice new moonshade. Clean. Alright, let's see how suction cup number one goes. Always with your suction cup. Okay, key thing I just learned, you have to push in on the hard plastic part to really get all the air out from between the rubber uh, portion of the glass or suction cup style holder. Um, make sure that, yeah, no air gap between there and the camper. Makes sense, obviously, but you know, a couple, couple tries. Let's try number two on the suction cup holders. So we've got some friends here while we're filming this. I don't know if you guys hear them in the background, but some cows, free range cows here. Second suction cup. Let's see what we got here. Series of poles, the awning itself. And then you get this other little bag here. And let's find out what we got inside. Ah, some cord, some more cord, and some spikes. And then we've got two more suction cups with some Velcro straps hooked to them. So I did what men usually don't like to do and that's went back and grabbed the instructions hey marissa you want to come be my beautiful assistant Alrighty. so they say to set up your strut pole first i'm gonna set up all the different poles just to get that part out of the way then I'm guessing it'll become relatively intuitive as to what is what. Like these poles have rubber uh, caps at the bottom for like your feet. My guess is those are gonna be for an outside leg, like a vertical. I don't know yet, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting together all the poles, thinking that once they're all assembled, it might make some more sense as to what is what. We're gonna have together. We'll do it as a team. So I think the long. 
as usual with any first assembly it's not pretty it is a little bit slow but i'm sure that on our next time setting this thing up it'll be a lot faster it is sweet like let's give you a full walk around on this bad boy it looks like i could definitely go lower with my attachment point on the camper. Just gotta balance not hitting the refrigerator uh, ventilation setup that's there. And also gotta do the same in the back with the storage compartment on the camper side of things. But that would streamline the way it looks a little bit, but otherwise I think it's great. Uh, gonna tie a bowling knot. It's a knot that's commonly used in the world of boats. Bang. Then, so, a knot. So then our cord is going down to the spike, up to our trucker knot. I think this, this whole thing is called Another, another knot I've learned from the world of boats. So you can see how I left that as a loop. That way it's temporary, not permanent. And, ooh, all right, how's it do? How's it do? A little wind test here. Pretty good for only one anchor. Let's try second anchor, second cord. So I tied a bowline up top, going down and through the anchor. Gonna create another looped knot up here, trucker knot style. Let's take a look, right? Check it out. As far as I know, it's the only moonshade to go on a truck camper. I shouldn't be so confident on that. I would imagine the manufacturer has sold a bunch of these to truck campers. They work great. That was super easy and will only become easier over time. But. Yeah, bad boy. For us, I found that despite my concerns earlier of it being less than nine feet, it's darn close. Um, we have a little bit of extra space there, but ain't no thing about chicken wang. We'll be all right. Where that beer at? You wanna come sit outside and have a drink with me under the new moonshade? Sure. That was the fakest yes I ever did here. Come on, come on outside. Come on outside. It's beautiful out there. And now we have shade. You don't have to burn your beautiful little face. Want to give a big thank you to Moonshade for providing us with this awning. We are super stoked to be able to have this for summer. Should keep us out of the sun, nice and cool, allow us to be comfortably out in the middle of nowhere and not be sweating our tushes off. And just want to thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit the notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button. We'll see you on the next one.